Hey everybody, this is London Bridge Breaks. In this video, we'll be reviewing issue 9 of the official Superheroes Legends magazine that comes with tubs and tubs of ice cream, and that's no joke. You know what, there were three things that drew me to this particular magazine. One, Batman. Two, Robin. And number three, the Joker. I mean, what a trio there of DC superheroes. I was instantly gravitated to it, brilliant. And I gotta say, it's really colorful as well. So at the top here, we've got the legendary Batman logo. And going down here, of course, we've got Batman, Robin. And we've got Robin's rescue. And the big question, can Batman save his sidekick? Over here, got a little window there of the uh, pending comic. Take cover, awesome comic. And it probably is actually, because let's face it folks, this is where Batman came from, the comics. Over here we've got the foil pack of course, and like I said, it's looking really colorful. I'm liking the artwork there on the, uh, on the Joker himself, looking very orange in his Arkham Asylum outfit. Over here it says at the top, we've got two mega posters, but you can't really see them because the foil packs hide in them. Uh, down here we've got some more details of our mini figure, uh, a limited edition actually, that's quite cool. I'm liking that, got another ice cream element there. I wonder what color it'd be, would it be green or would it be yellow? Or maybe both, who knows? Um, mobile Bat Rescue Base, we've got the huge new Lego set. And I've got to say, that is actually quite a huge Lego set. I've actually seen that in London's Leicester Square store. And uh, as always, this is brought to us by Immediate Media. It's Batman number nine, and it retails here in the UK for three pounds 99. Turning over the page, and we're in Gotham City here, and it's Mean Ice Cream, the Joker's yummy trick. So yeah, kicking off summer, and you've got Joker there, catapulting, dynamite, bombs, and ice cream, of course, uh, all around the city there. And Batman, as always, is to the rescue. <laughs> page two, and we're over at the contents page. We've got loads going on here. We've got a bit about the base, the comic, uh, the minifigure, and of course, where will it be? Page 17, so always around roughly the middle of the magazine. We've got the posters as well. Decorate the Batcave. I'll we'll certainly be decorating uh, my studio with these posters. I love all these, they're really good. I've got, I've got Boba Fett looking at me uh, as, I'm, uh, as I'm filming this one. I think it's very cool. So anyway, let's get going, shall we? So page four then, and we're straight into the minifigure build. Straight away, that's quite cool. It's not a bad looking build, actually. I mean, I'm not, I'm not always into the builds. We've got a couple of good elements there. We've got this box element. I've got these little bombs going on. But look at that, we've got this proper catapult. I think that's quite good. I haven't got that element at all in my collection. So it's always a, a, a welcome piece to have. Uh, down here, we've got this, we've got this, looks like a little bit of a game on the go there. Just see how far you can flick the ice creams. And over here, we've got the eye. We've got the instructions of how to put it all together. Minifigure is pretty straightforward. Catapult includes a Technic pin as well, which is quite smart. And then of course on page five, we get the actual comic kicks off, which is always my favorite, especially it's quite pertinent uh, with Batman, because of course this, this is where, where Batman originated from back in the, the old days of DC Comics. So yeah, so Alfred here is uh, serving up uh, dinner it was seen in the back cave there and uh, our superhero's choice of, uh, of dietary food uh, is the choice of champions of course hot dogs and they're certainly hot dogs in every sense of the word as well i think alfred's gone a bit ott uh, with his uh, with his chili sauce but anyway over to page six and where are we at here arkham asylum and of course we've got this kind of friends looking uh, lego themed uh, ice cream van here and we've got We've got a very naughty Harley Quinn. I mean, she's never the most pleasant person in the world, let's face it. But anyway, she, she seems seemingly she's being nice. She's handing out ice creams and stuff like that. Uh, but of course, there is a motive. There's Joker. He's in his bad boy cell, it would seem. And uh, yeah, and Harley just strolls in after taking out the guards with not the usual weapons, but this time something much more unconventional, of course. Ice cream. <laughs> I think the cards enjoyed it though. It looked like they're having a good time nonetheless. Page eight, and Batman and Robin track down the Joker and Harley Quinn, but they better be prepared for a splat attack. And then over at page nine, just as the tension's building in the comic, uh, we've got ourselves a uh, colouring in activity here. But I gotta say though, is, is it me or is it quite odd to see Joker in such a sort of 
bland, almost mundane white, but it kind of looks quite cool as well at the same time. Kind of reminds me of the limited edition uh, Boba Fett poly bag uh, that you could get back in the day. It's quite interesting there. I think a limited edition Joker all in white would be quite cool actually. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Page 10, so we're cracking on with a comic, which is cool. And there's a, there's a big kind of splat fight with ice cream, which kind of sounds like fun, doesn't it? But anyway, because it's, it's kind of poisoned, uh, Batman is playing fire with fire. He splats Joker, though I don't think it's gonna have much effect on him, except it's probably gonna ruin his suit. Uh, Harley Quinn, oh no, she's got, she's got Robin. But Robin, of course, he's gonna be under the influence of the ice cream. So he's gonna find everything absolutely hilarious. Oh God, double spread. This is looking good. That's a nice picture as well. I'm really enjoying the artwork on this one. This is particularly nice. Look at the coloration and the sky and everything like that. It looks really good, doesn't it? I'm liking it. And look, hey, there's the Batmobile. I think it looks, always looks particularly good, that one. So anyway, so 12 and 13, then the Batman gets back to the Batcave to analyze the ice cream and locate the remedy to counter the effect on the people. But Bat has tracked down Harley Quinn and needs to get back to Gotham. So page 14, and we're up to our first mission by the looks of it. And here we're given two missions in the, uh, with it, we've got this ice cream jumble. Uh, the first one adding up to find out the ice cream formula. And then the second one is a maze uh, that you've got to draw your way through without touching any of the objects. Which I've got to say is a little bit easier said than done. It really is folks, honestly. <laughs> I've been practicing off air. So anyway, so page 15 and moving on rather swiftly. Uh, we've got a fact file here on Robin, which tells us all sorts of info about Robin's sidekick, uh, his strengths, his weaknesses, and my favorite fact, his strange power of being able to imitate all kinds of sounds. Um, we'll have to remember that for the future. I'm not quite sure how that would become particularly useful, but hey ho. Um, a good power to have, not particularly useful though, if you happen to have a sore throat. <laughs> Over this side, uh, you've got yourself uh, some continuation uh, with these facts. It says, test your knowledge. It says here, did you know that every assistant of Batman uses the name Robin? I didn't actually know that. And in total, there are four, and the, and the super cool Nightwing was the very first Robin. I didn't know that. That's pretty good knowledge, isn't it? And I thought I knew quite a lot about comics and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So where are we at now? We are looking like we are at the posters. And I've got to say, I'm a little bit surprised by this month's one because over here we've got the Joker and he looks like he's serving up some dynamite for some food. So he's not only serving up ice cream, he's also serving up dynamite. That sounds like an explosive meal, doesn't it? If you pardon the bun. And then over here, and this is my surprise one, and I've got to say, it's a welcome surprise as well. We've got the flash. I mean, look at the artwork on that, the the uh, the, the speed and the, the electricity and stuff like that. It's, it's fantastic, doesn't it? The artwork is absolutely brilliant. But of course, uh, being the flash, the one thing he mustn't do is trip up or slide or anything like that. So he's got to dodge these bananas there. But yeah, it looks brilliant, doesn't it? Look, look at that, the, the speed force. It's fantastic. I think the artwork is absolutely spot on. And that is definitely one I'm gonna have up on my wall soon. Over this side, I've got the other side of the of the Joker as well. So kind of uh, using his minifigure, he's got the, he says there, the Joker says, enjoy your meal. There we go there. And this is of course the representation of the minifigure that we get on the front cover of this month's magazine. I'm liking that. Yeah, really, really cool. So over here, ah, now this is interesting as well. Now my absolute favorite superheroes, is not Superman, it's not Batman, it's not Wonder Woman, it's not Captain America or the Incredible Hulk or anything like that, it is actually Shazam. He's my favorite superhero of all time, he really is. And I'm, again, pleasantly surprised that he's in uh, this month's magazine. So this is called Batman versus Shazam. And uh, we've got Batman and Shazam have discovered four criminals in Gotham City and we will be able to, who will be able to catch them first? Ah. Well, ordinarily speaking, my money would be on Shazam, but of course, this being a, a Batman comic, I probably have to say it'd probably be Batman. But anyway, I'm sure Shazam will give him a good run for his money. <laughs> Page 22, ah, oh, wow, look at this. It's fantastic, isn't it? We've got a double page spread on this month's Lego featured set. I'm liking it, I really am. I liked it when I saw it in the in the Lego store and I was almost tempted to get it, um, but it's quite expensive. Um, I think it's okay value for money. You get uh, 743 parts, it's set number of course, 76160, but for 743 parts, it 
was or is I should say in the UK retailing at 80 pounds but you do get it's a, it's a fairly big set and it comes with all sorts of uh, oh, kind of uh, vehicles as well. You got you got this uh, you got this jet ski here. Uh, you got this motorbike here being ridden by a Batman. Uh, you got this quad bike over here, and you got this fantastic version of Batgirl as well, which I really really like. I think she's fantastic. Now, even if I don't ever buy the set, and I probably will at some point because I'm loving all these uh, amber yellow pieces as well. Um, but if I do, or if I don't buy the set, I'm one thing I will definitely buy a loose minifigure of her in one of my Lego hauls, that's for sure. Anyway, she's chasing this guy here who looks like DC's answer to Wolverine and he's called the Bronze Tiger. But yeah, I think it's a nice set. I mean, I've got to say though, if, you, if, you're, if you're Batman and you're trying to sort of blend in with the background, this probably isn't the vehicle for you. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've actually got this set or you're thinking of buying this set, I'd love to know if you if you actually enjoy building it. And what did you think of all the minifigures as well? Because look, you got, here he is there, there's Nightwing, who was, as we now know, the original Robin. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So anyway, let's get cracking, shall we? Page 24, and he's back to the comic. And what have we got going on here? We've got Batman chasing uh, the Joker and the Joker. There he is. This is catapult, folks. Look, we get the catapult. It's, it's everything is. Anyone would think this was all completely planned or something like that, wouldn't you? But anyway, we've got the Joker there with his catapult and he's flinging bombs at the Batmobile. But again, look, really nice artwork. I'm liking all this. It's all kind of. It's. It's. I don't know. It's, the the action effects on it, I think, are top notch. Page 25, and we've got our uh, our Robin waking up all blurry-eyed. Look at him, he's looking a bit hungover. Uh, and by accident, it looks like he might have discovered a cure for those ice creams. So where are we at now? We are at page 26, my God, we're, we're actually flying through this month's magazine. And it's Batman stops pursuing the Joker, and it looks like he's gonna be headed back to the cave. And these two, they think they've won. So anyway, page 27, and Batman starts administ administrating the hot panacea. Look at, there he is there. So he's giving out everyone who's been affected uh, by, the, by, the, by the ice cream effect, he's counteracting it with the chili sauce and rescuing everybody in the meantime. And then down here, we've got to go, come on, jokey wokey, let's get out of here before we get caught. Well, it's too late, Harley Quinn. You have been caught. <laughs> On page 28, yep, there's the Batman, captured hook, line, and sinker again. <laughs> Straight back to Arkham Asylum for Hugh, I think it'll be Joker. Well, I'm liking the outfit as well. That looks quite cool, is not it? It's a trendy waist jacket, isn't it? And of course, just before he goes in, uh, into the police van, Batman offers him some ice cream. And of course, Joker says, that's not very funny. <laughs> Good fun, isn't it? So then over page 29, back to the cave again. I've um, got, uh, it's, it's supper time for our superheroes. So what are they going to get this time? Hot dogs. Mm, but our superheroes aren't too keen on them. <laughs> I like this one. Uh, Batman saying, I think I left a sandwich in the Batmobile. I haven't eaten it yet. <laughs> I wonder if he put it in uh, tin foil or cling film. <laughs> but anyway, so that is the end of this month's comic. I think we've got another little one uh, coming up in just a moment as well. So another double page mission going on here for two players. Batman kind of secretly admires the Joker's catapult and wants to become an expert uh, shooting. So uh, he, he, they've kind of created this, this target practice for him. And level two, the next page, puts that target practice to use. And you've got to be aiming at these other super villains as well. There we go, we've got, uh, I think that's Mr. Mr. Freeze. Uh, we've got Two-Face. And of course, we've got the Riddler as well. And this is a cool Batmobile as well. I think I reviewed that uh, sometime last year. I think it was only like a quite cheap set, 18 pounds or something like that. But that was a corker of a little set, it really was. And it came with an abundance, absolutely. I remember this specifically there because this came with an abundance of these kind of bat shields uh, that were there, these great big elements. And it came with about six of them. But if you've got this particular set, uh, let me know in the comments below. I thought it was an absolute corker. And then not too soon, after that, of course, we have the, what is arguably one of my favorite sets of all time, the 1989 Batmobile, which I thought was an absolute corker. So page 32, and it's another, it's, a, it's another little mini comic, albeit a very short and sweet one. 
And I've got to say, uh, it just goes to prove that even, even our pro superheroes can have an off day as well. But here's the thing, right? I noticed this just up here, just over here there, there is an odd looking clown. And I'm wondering, right, if, uh, if the artist kind of had a little bit of fun with this one, because this one reminds me of the recent film, The Joker, the one that uh, Joaquin Phoenix uh, actually starred in as The Joker, because I think that looks very much like him. And I just wonder if they're having a little bit of fun there, because of all the things for the, the Batmobile to, or the out of control Batmobile uh, to swerve around, why would they serve around a clown? I think they're having a little bit of fun with us there, especially just hiding it behind the uh, behind the title as well. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments below. I do love a little conspiracy, albeit uh, just a sort of tongue and cheek one. Then over here we got the uh, we've got an advert here for for Lego City, and of course Lego City are trying to characterise all their figures now a little bit more with the uh, with the City Adventures. Let me know if you've actually watched any of those episodes. I've kind of seen them popping up on YouTube every now and again. We've got the uh, Duke Detain down here. He looks a bit cheesy. <laughs> he's, got, he's got handcuffs and fish. What a, what a combination, eh? I wonder if he knows the Joker. <laughs> then over here, we've got details of what's coming up uh, next month. Uh, actually, it's not in next month, actually. My Lord, it's a long, long way away. 18th of November. Bloody, this, 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 these must be specials then. This is gonna be a special one. So you never know, folks. It may even come at the last minute. Have we seen that last minute they come with, a, with, with two elements, two, two builds. Uh, but anyway, what we, what we do know, the facts is this, um, we've, got this um, we've got this special looking Batman here. It looks like a, a combination of Dr. Octopus and a, and a Swiss army knife. <laughs> but let me know if you've got him. Is he exclusive? Uh, is he a figure that we've not seen before? Is he one that they've just made for the magazines or does he appear in some strange Lego DC superhero set? Over here, we've got the uh, details of uh, the solutions for some of the puzzles that are in there. So I'll hide them from you. And then we've got some details there of some Ninjago magazines. And I'll certainly be reviewing those in due course as well. Over here then, so as always on the sort of back two pages uh, we've got details of some sort of craft thing that we do this is called the showdown in gotham city and this this effectively is all about cutting these pieces out got these lovely bits of art here superman flying down there i'll say that is a nice piece of art as well i'm liking that um and then what you do you create these scenes and it looks like you can cut out these other people as well you've got catwoman there and two-face and and robin and uh, and then you can play around with them you know and just put your minifigures in them as well and then what we got on the back page we've got this one this nice sort of beach setting um i say beach set. it's not really a beach setting is it? it's more of a dock setting i can't remember gotham city ever having uh, a beach not, not really the sort of place you'd associate with having a beach at all, is it really? But it's definitely got a dock, that's for sure. And there, here at night, where well, kind of Batman feels, I think, much more comfortable uh, being in Gotham City at night, uh, we've got this kind of night scene, which again, it could be on the docks or maybe just on the uh, terrace of a tall building. And then we've got Bane there as well, and, uh, and some more villains, and there's Batman there with his Batarang. So, that was a fly through the comic and the magazines. Uh, I think it's now time to blast open this foil pack. So here he is then with his bombs and ice cream. But first of all, let's take a quick look at the minifigure. So if there's one thing that can always be said about the Joker, he is a bright character. <laughs> and this minifigure is absolutely no exception to that rule. Over here, of course, we be, be in the summer, uh, he, Joker isn't bothering with pistols or anything like that. Instead, he's got ice cream, or at least ice cream that has a terrible adverse effect if he was to eat one. But anyway, we've got the hair there, the kind of, the, the very green, slick back, Moff Tarkin style hair. And then round at his face, of course, you've got this really big, very jokery grin of his as well. You've got the matching eyebrows, and of course got those gray indentations there, that extra printing, showing off those, those kind of joker expressions. Now around the back of him, of course, we've got another face as well, which is good, isn't it? Let's pop that off there. Oh yeah, and that is a very, very disgruntled uh, joker face, I have to say. But again, they continue the great printing, the eyebrows, uh, you've got the gray inside the eyes as well. And of course you've got those wrinkled uh, expression lines continuing on that as well. And this one seems to have a little bit more lipstick around his face, but hey, he's not looking too happy. So let's pop, pop his hair back on again. 
Now, if you recognize that face, actually, it's exactly the same face as what I uh, reviewed in Popping Polybags episode four. It's the Joker. It's a different Joker, but he's got exactly the same face on there. Anyway, what he's very different, of course, he's not wearing a smart suit in this one. He's wearing a, a very, well, I can only describe it as being an incredibly orange Arkham Asylum uh, kind of boiler outfit. But what I will say though, on the printing, it's not too bad for what you get really. I mean, yeah, on the face of it, you think, yeah, it's just completely bright orange, but you've got some quite nice bold printing going on there and you've got some lighter orange creases showing there in, in his overalls. But what I do like as well, and if the light can just about pick it up, yep, there it is there. You've got those three buttons uh, going down his jacket there. And that looks quite good. That's kind of like a, a nice shimmering silver effect there that you've got going on. Now around the back, Got a little bit of decent printing going on there as well, actually, with the Arkham Asylum logo embroidered into the back of his uh, boiler outfit. And of course, then you've got those continuation of those orange lines as well, kind of giving a little bit more detail to the creasing of his outfit. Down the back of these legs, yeah, I've got nothing going on there at all. No printing there to talk about. Nothing on his arms, nothing on the side of his torso or legs, and nothing at all on the front of his legs either. I will say, for what you're getting, the Arkham Asylum Joker is a pretty good looking Joker to have in your collection. Okay, so after the Joker then, of course, we've got the actual catapult itself. And I've got to say, yeah, I kind of enjoyed the build. It was all right, it was a nice little build, but it really doesn't do too much for me. But of course, like all these things, there's a few elements in there that are kind of interesting. Uh, this construction, it was all eight elements put together but hey, there you've got three of them there. You've got this round element there and you've got those two different studs there. Looking pretty good, isn't it? I like that. It kind of uh, kind of works. You get the idea of it. Let's just pop him out of that basket there, which is made up using these two mauve elements as well. When put together, you've got yourself like a little box or a basket of sorts. Around here, you've got the ever useful round four by four gray plate. Maybe I could use that for some sort of Star Wars mock or something like that. And then of course you've got the catapult itself with this uh, spoon section. And what could I use that for? Let me know down in the comments below what you think I could use it for. I'm kind of thinking some sort of maintenance vehicle or something like that for my city. But yeah, let me know what you think. And then of course, there's the actual play feature of it as well, which I have to say works really, really well. So let's, uh, let's fire one off, shall we? Three, two, one, and blast off, literally. <laughs> and that works really, really well. Now, what I will say uh, about this month's magazine as well, well one thing that I especially do like is that they completely constructed and assembled the comic around the contents of the foil bag. So overall then, what did I think of this month's Lego Batman magazine? Well, I've got to say, I really liked it. The comic is really cool. It's full of absolute bundles of ice cream, just like me at the moment with all this hot weather. And of course, it comes with that cool poster as well with the flash and Groot. Minifigure wise, yeah, the Joker. He looks pretty cool, doesn't he? And I haven't actually got him in an Arkham Asylum outfit, so I'm happy to have him in my minifigure collection. Now, the catapult itself, yeah, I'm not super fussed about that. It works pretty well. But I've got to say, it does come with a couple of useful elements. So, all in, if you see it in the magazine shop for £3.99, do yourself a favour and grab one. So, there you have it then. My look at the most recent LEGO Superhero Legends magazine. Now, I hope you enjoyed this quick look inside what it has to offer in terms of content and builds. Now, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are on these magazines. Do you like the overall content with the games, puzzles, craft elements, and do those foil packs spark your interest? Now, don't forget, for up-to-date news on London Bridge Bricks, please follow the channel on Instagram and Twitter. And if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to London Bridge Bricks, why not hop on and subscribe and become a big part of the LBB family. Thank you as always for tuning in and I'll leave you now with some videos that I think you might like. Mm -hmm.